Here we go. Ninth inning. 7 3. Still a safe situation for Class A. Remember, he came on. It was a three run game in the eighth. He's got four runs with which to work right now. Matt Veerling. The lone Tiger with postseason experience on the current roster. That was with the Phillies two years ago, competed in a World Series. The 25 others on the postseason roster had never been in a playoff series. They've won four games to this point. Three. And a called strike three. Down it goes. Class A with a strikeout to start the ninth. That time he did go with the slider right here and look he's right down the middle and you just you get caught looking for 100 with cut. And he throws that mm, 16 K's for the Guardians tied for the most in a winner take all game. Bouncing ball Riley Green the Guardians are an out away from a date with the Yankees at Yankee Stadium in the Bronx Monday night. Emmanuel Class A against Colt Keith. Last hope for the Tigers. Strike. Winner take all games have been demons for the Guardians. They've lost eight straight. They played in nine. Trying to answer that right now as Keith laces one foul. Classe and the Guardians a strike away. Chris Antonetti. First year manager Stephen Vogt. Class A trying to send him to the ALCS. 2 2. Bouncing ball. Naylor's got it. Class A covers. Ball game. And the Guardians are headed to the American League Championship Series. It is their sixth, the first since 2016. They take down the Detroit Tigers in five games. Thomas with a grand slam off Tarek Skubal in the fifth inning. Thomas drives in eight runs. Nine runs total. The Guardians will head to New York to take on the Yankees. Game one of the American League Championship Series Monday night right here on TBS. You know, B.A., we said before the game that if Cleveland was able to move on, they were going to earn this one today. Of Cy Younger and Tarek Skubal, they did that. Lane Thomas delivered another one. And then eight pitchers for the Guardians today. You talk about a full team effort. And Emmanuel Classe 
gets the last six outs to notch the save. Jose Ramirez, one of the game's great stars. He'll continue on. Stephen Kwan, what a division series he had. Three consecutive three hit games. 11 hits in the division series. Another all star. And then Josh Naylor, their big RBI man, greets the big fella. First year skipper Stephen Vogt was an all star catcher. And now he's going to the American League Championship Series to have a chance to play for an AL pennant. <laughs> Chris Antonetti and his family and all those in the baseball operations department for the Guardians. No feeling like that one. The team that had the second best record in the American League is going to match up against the team who had the best record in the American League. I always wonder with those acquisitions at the trade deadline, right? Do you get the right one? Well, Chris Antonetti did that with getting Lane, Lane Thomas, B.A. Three-run homer in game one, and now the grand slam, and five RBIs here in game five. There was a lot of discussion after the trade deadline. Did the Guardians do enough? Did they add enough bats? This is a team that struggled to score runs, struggled to swing the bats in the second half. Thomas, kind of an under the radar move. But Lane Thomas comes up the biggest in the division series. Let's send it down on the field. Lauren Jabara with Lane Thomas. Thank you so much, BA. Lane, just describe this moment. What are you feeling right now? It's incredible. You know, I don't know if I have the words at this moment, but, you know. You, you just love coming through of your teammates in that situation. You know, our bullpen's been grinding this whole series. And, you know, to come through and make all those innings worth it, it feels awesome. For you, this is your first postseason series. You step into the box, you hit a grand slam. What was going through your mind when you were standing there at the plate? You know, I was walking up just hoping our best player was okay. But after that, you know, he just threw me a good pitch to hit. You know, to his credit, he threw me a, a lot of pitches that were tough to hit. My first four at bats off him. So, you know, props to them. They got a great team. And Gonna, gonna have a good team for a while, but you know, it's good to come through. You're going up against one of the best pitchers in Tarek Skubal. How are you guys able to expose him the way that you did, especially in that fifth inning? You know, stuff just happens quick, you know, and he threw one pitch over the middle and I put a good swing on it. I think it's as simple as that. So, you know, I think I don't know how many scoreless innings he threw in a row, but you know, it just takes one. When you look around and you see this crowd, I mean, I know they've been cheering you guys on all season, especially since you've gotten here. What was today like? What was it like playing in this game today and oh, clinching? It's, it's incredible. These fans keep showing up. It's it's so loud, and, you know, it just keeps you locked in because you want to come through for them, too. So it's been really cool. Last but not least, Emmanuel Classe with a six-out save. How incredible. I mean, w w watching him all year has been incredible. So, you know, it was cool to see him get those last outs. Lane, go celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate that.